Barcelona consolidated their position at the top of the league table following a comprehensive 7-0 victory over Real Valladolid on Saturday afternoon. It was a dominant performance from the Catalan outfit, which scored thrice in the first half, with Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha and Jules Count finding the back of the net. Barcelona maintained their dominance in the second half as well, with Dani Almo notably scoring his first goal at home. This comprehensive victory was a clear signal that the Catalans are ready to compete with Real Madrid, under the leadership of new coach Hungsi Flick. Barca Universal brings you the player ratings from Barcelona's win over Real Valladolid. Mark andre Ter Stegen did not have to do much to retain the clean sheet as Barcelona defenders did an excellent job of shutting out the Real Valladolid attackers. He did make a crucial save in the first half, though. Jules Count had an impressive outing against Real Valladolid. He linked with Yamal quite well on the right flank and took full advantage of his opportunity to score the third goal late in the first half. Count's impressive performances could be a boon for Barcelona, who are without the services of a proven natural right back. Pau Cubarsi stole the show in defence, not necessarily because of his defensive actions. It was his composing presence and Ability to play out on the ball that made life difficult for the opponent. Cubarsis well, weighted ball to. Rafinha was crucial in helping Barcelona break the deadlock in the 20th minute. Inigo Martinez's composure and leadership at. The heart of the back line were crucial in helping Barcelona secure a clean sheet. The veteran centre back made some. Crucial interceptions and was on top of the opposing attackers throughout the course of the game showed no signs of rust after replacing Gerard Martin in the starting eleven. His performance, in fact, was quite encouraging as he made marauding runs down the flank. Baldi's speed, coupled with his quick interplay with attackers kept Vieta lead defenders occupied throughout the game. Tasked with the job of replacing the injured Marc Bernal, Casado operated in a single pivot for the majority of the game. The young midfielder did his job fairly well. Avoiding any mistakes while showcasing an impressive positioning sense. His performance was an encouraging sign for Barcelona, as they prepare for the season without Bernal. Pedri was a crucial presence in the middle of the park. He orchestrated each and every Barcelona attack with his incisive passes and ability to link up with teammates in tight spaces. Pedri's passes behind the ball, in particular, made life difficult for the opposition. He was taken off around the hour mark. Rafinha was by far Barcelona's top performer against Real Valladolid. Produced an excellent touch and finish to open the scoring in the 20th minute. The Brazilian was a live wire on the flanks. Often looking to create chances and finding space in behind the opposition back line. He scored twice in the second half. To seal the match ball and the first career hat trick. Also chipped in with an assist. Rafinha's strong start to the season could prove to be important for Barcelona, in their bid to reclaim the league title. Making his starting debut for Barcelona. Dani Almo was involved in almost every attack for the home side. He was unlucky not to score in the first half. As he hit the frame of the goal twice. In fact, the Spaniard did everything but score but the major part of the game. The former RB Leipzig vindicated his excellent performance with a goal in the 82nd minute, producing an excellent finish. Almost understanding with the likes of Pedri. Lamine Yamal and Lewandowski will be encouraging for Flick as well as Barcelona fans. Lamine Yamal was once again a live wire for Barcelona in the final third. His pace, dynamism and ability to take on defenders made him an absolute nightmare for opposing defenders. Yamal was involved in many of the Barcelona attacks that led to goals. With the Spanish international notably securing an assist for Rafinha's third goal. Robert Lewandowski continued their brilliant season with yet another good performance. The pole looked sharp and his link-up play with the likes of Almo, Yamal and Rafinha looked very promising. Lewandowski scored the second goal of the game to extend his tally to four for the season. The pole looks to be returning to his best form under the leadership of Hungsi Flick. Sergi Dominguez looked eager to get on the ball and play it out from the back after replacing Cubarsi around the hour mark. A promising cameo from the young defender. Eric Garcia replaced Casado around the hour mark and operated in the defensive midfield position. Looked in control of the 
game and showed Flick he could be a reliable option in the position. Made his presence felt instantly after replacing Pedri around the hour mark. Notably produced an excellent cross to feed Lewandowski and was a menacing presence in the final third. Operated as a number 9 after replacing Lewandowski during the final phase of the game. Involved himself in Barcelona's late attacking moments and scored a well-earned goal. A late replacement for Almo.